Nietzsche. I like people who understand the value of respect. We'll be in touch, V. gonna go data crash on your ass you hear me he'll run you out of biz would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information fuck you circ brain thank you processing data now please wait uh hey Dell. hello sir or madam how can i be of hey, service hey he was asked in nine What's got into you, Dell? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give number? them any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Corpse. Listen, hey. I want to talk to Delamay. You are currently being assisted. Your identity has been confirmed based on a facial recognition scan. Mr. Hans Jonas, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111101096? Actually a little heartbroken about my damaged ride. But I'd rather talk to the real Delamine if I can. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Bah! Special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? No. Sure. Let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proven costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person.
It is good to see you, B. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay. Saburo's daughter. Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Just hope he doesn't blindly follow Arasaka protocol. What protocol? Unwritten rules. <laughs> Had him here in Night City. Could be different in Japan. If IA got even a whiff of treason, they prep an enhanced interrogator and send two elite squads with air support to grab the suspect. I understand the point you seek to make. But if Oda has ulterior motives, he will need no elites, no air support, no one but himself. Trust me, I have seen him work. <laughs> That's supposed to be reassuring. If it helps you stay calm, you can gaze at the sky. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. I'm not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are. You have it. B, you can trust Oda. All right, then. Kanpeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started Silence! Choking. Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you... But you can't ignore the truth! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off. Sorry, but is this gonna take much longer? I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Sama. What would you do now were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Sama. Consider yourself lucky that I am not you. You cannot ignore Oda. this. Not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good 
Fucking riddance. One hour sock of whack job is already plenty. There's no time to waste, B. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps, if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama. We must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Hang on, not so fast. Make it sound as easy as hacking a schism. You said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in all Night City. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. No, just a fixer dame. Okaku Akata runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? JJ Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Have shared interests, you and I. Where have you forgotten? Certainly not. Good. Because catching lead in Night City is easier than catching a cold. And I need you alive. I am alive and well. As you can see, you should worry about yourself.
You want trouble? You, uh, got any real meat back there? You mean, uh, from animals? Don't be ridiculous. What you got to eat? Is there something I can do for you? Cause See I'm for yourself. Kind of busy. Looking for some company tonight? Well, you found it, baby. Now, I may not be good with names, but I do have quite a talent for faces. Where have I seen yours before? On the TV? Very unlikely. Oh, but of course! Hideshi Hino! The man, the legend, in the flesh! Oh, you are just in time. Do you know who this is? Hideshi Hino, the late night comedy host. He was brilliant before he fell off the wagon. Can you still do your famous, better bugger up? No. Come on, you don't forget a thing like that. Just once, please. V, we should go in, now. Hideshi, don't leave this poor guy hanging. This is not the best time, truly. Come on! I haven't heard it in years! Oh. Beta Bakurap! Wow. He knows, honey. Door was closed. He almost recognized me. But a comedian? With your sense of humor? Why not? Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro des. Okada san. Oai dekite kohei des. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. I'm waiting. You wanted to say something? Caution. Caution? World's most wanted Japanese fugitives hiding out in Night City, and you got nothing to do with it? Please. We know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that sig. So tell me, and mark well, I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka, again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? What There's is no time it? to waste, B. Come on. Got your finger on the hood's pulse. Know everything. 
parade honoring Saburo Arasaka? You're prepping in some way, no doubt. Won't see me dressed in mourning. Iwanante. But the rest is true. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi Platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old, automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for. Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. We are not done. A delightful, Definitely. mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. Welcome to the N54 News World Report. I'm Jillian Jordan. Scientists from Biodyne Systems have announced a break. What do you recommend?
Now, call for backup. Crash the heads open, drag the bodies inside. I told you, dog, afterlife's all about breath. The respect you command. That's the only thing. Get you anything? Ugh, why? Hey, Rogue. Got the scratch. Got the cred for the helmet job. Fine. Anders Hellman, flick me the deeds. Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while, either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Let's see what you got. Your helmet's not on any payroll, not officially, anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Must be prepping him for a transfer. How would you know? Chinese corpo playbook's an open one to me. This looks like the old vanishing pigeon. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table. But catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But, right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. You're wasting You've my tracking time. tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. They're mammoth, but they're quick. Plus, they pack next-gen defenses. Can't take pot shots at it. Not even with serious firepower. Just won't work. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them. Or who can at least improvise on a theme. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. 
Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at nabbing Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Pick up a pace. Strange. Thought nomads gave the city and city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Alda Caldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Why's Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. You're wasting my no, time. wouldn't tell Pan Am. Aim to play cat and mouse with me too? My aim is to know an opportunity when I see one and then to seize it. Say I told her everything. What do you think she'd have done? Grabbed her iron and gone on the warpath, that's what. Not hard to see how that could end it. And there's nothing I hate more than losing good people to plain stupidity. Huh. I'm her only chance, and she's my only chance. Two pawns on Rogue's board. You're quick. For a pawn. No, oh, V. Fine. Let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, oh, finally. Let's get out of here. All clear. Thanks. Good luck. Get you anything? Jam. Hang on just a little longer, Chu. Ripper's on the way. Oh, fuck. Hey, Pan Am. Got your number from Rogue. Name's V. Great. Where's that old warbus wanna kick me now? Forget Rogue for a minute. I wanna help you. Oh, very kind. But it's far too little, far too late. So do tell Rogue she can eat my shorts. Tell it to your therapist. Calling about your ride and the merch you lost. Interested? Or are you gonna tell me to eat your shorts too? The rail freight yard on Bermuda Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya.
Get you anything? Claire, right? You come to talk about my offer? Chuma mine earned a spot on the menu here. That chulo bowl with the bun? Yeah, well, sorry to hear. Remember his drink? The recipe? Vodka on the rocks, lime juice, and ginger beer. And a splash of love. <laughs> That's right. In the drink's name. A Jackie Wells. Right. Well, the first Jackie Wells is on me. Definitely go for a drink. Tough day? I don't like any other. So, what'll it be? Yeah, let's talk street racing. Sure. But not here, it's mayhem. I'll be at my garage after my shift. Swing by? Nova, talk there. Have a good one. Hey, lover boy, you're spilling. Yeah, you drenched the whole bar. Just get your drunk butt home, will ya?
Anything? Hey, what gives? V dog, listen. Got a yarn for you. Quick biz, that is. You interested? All right, lay it on me. Was cruising the net, you feel? And I spotted an interesting classifier. Wait, let me guess. Performance enhancers? I used Mr. Stud? Cheap? Now, I'm a serious man, V. And serious matters are what, if not all, that concern me. Somebody's selling a book of spells. Edition dating from before the first net crash. Now, you know a thing or two about that, don't you? Like, how much that soft could run you. And earn you. You want me to clep it for you, don't you? Uh uh. No clepping required. Just buy the damn thing. Reimburse you twofold. And? You thunk on it? Send me out to do your shopping? Want a case of Night Cola with that? Algae chips? Think on it, V. A treasure, and someone's willing to part with it. Now who does that? The hard up, V. And Desperado's got this unsavory side. They're unpredictable. One word off their mood, and they reach for their heat. That's why I need you to meet the seller. You got heat at the ready. Okay, we'll do. Yeah, my man. Zipping you the deets on the seller. And luck be with you all the way. Just a little longer, Chu. Ripper's on the way. I know you from somewhere. Sorry, you've got the wrong guy. Wait, the negotiations between Arisaka and N54. That cyber psycho scandal in the Defense Department. You used to work for Arisaka. You were behind the leak, weren't you? <laughs> I thought you got flatlined. And yet here you are at the afterlife. A fellow ex monochromer, I see. Only thing I miss is the clean air. What's it like, working for Rogue? Just fine. That's it? Fine? You want info on Rogue? Ask her yourself. I'm sure she'll be ever so obliged. I gotta go. Thank you. 
for the book. Sounds about right. Price non-negotiable. You'll need to pay in full on pickup. Clear enough. Agreed. Prem, I flipped you the address. Come by your lonesome. Yeah. Spellbook, you got it? I do indeed. Tucked away somewhere safe. You want coordinates? I need to see my money.
Ouch. Hardwired customer service just ain't what it used to be. Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> sure you do. I got a pretty good idea who you are. Bargain basement dress suit, back alley implants. You're almost a cutout from a corp recruiting brochure. Hang on, this is fun, let me guess. Found something in a dusty corner of the warehouse, trying to hawk it off on the side. Ooh, what would your manager say? I mean, not like your KPIs can include your under-the-counter deals. Oh, the fuck you want? Discount. Something real. Keep me from calling your boss. Oh, get fucked, scop shitter. Great. Now you got that out of your system, let's get down to biz. We got a deal, or do I gotta make some calls? Just flip to the coordinates. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Tech XPR. Gotta be like 50 years old. At least that. Had one, you know. Top of the line back in the day.
Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan. And they call you Lee. See, no introductions necessary. I already took care of that. Someone comes to me with biz, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe biz. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes? I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? Hey, Pan Am? So you're V. Where's my car? V? Why does it matter? What's wrong with this one? It's borrowed. It's not mine. I asked where my car is. Agree to help me, you'll find out. Oh, fuck no. You will not jerk me around. Tell me where my car is. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. You go alone, you won't get them back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a Kang Tao transport. Won't be easy. Wanna know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamn mind? About you or the job. Kang Tao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo, help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? I thought this is mostly about the merch. Fuck the merch. With that ride, I can take any transport job in town. Without it, only thing I can move is pizza. Maybe. Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirty eating bastard. I will strangle you. Nash, you chew me yours? You hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The shift tricked me. Straight nipped my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Want to tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Boz! Hey! Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is... The motherfucker screwed me over. Boz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Give that meathead your word, and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. You should try getting one of your own. Who the hell's Boz? Won't cause us any grief, I hope. 
Boz is a stand-up guy. Sixth Street. You drive for gang goons. Is that not allowed? Street punks need things moved. I need money like anyone else. So... where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. Any chance they might help us? In Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. Good, let's roll. Get in. Where'd you get the ride? Straight out of some driveway in Rancho? Yes, exactly. Is that a problem? For me? No, not at all. I mean, there's no accounting for taste. Screw you. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the 9 and head east. How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Rogue's queen of the afterlife. Plays her pawns as she pleases. Did you just call me a pawn? I got a good look at her. She rose to the top because she reads people. So what if she keeps things to herself? skill in her profession. Well, I think she's a lying, manipulative bitch. She put me together with that rabbit. Did you know that? Wait, Nash is Raffin? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest Raffin group in the area. You know about them, right? Mm hmm Nomads tossed out of clans. Yes, mostly. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. So think murderers, rapists, freaks. They gather in teams. Sometimes form actual gangs. Most of them are wanted and have warrants on their heads. Shit. And that bitch had me working with scum like that. I not have known that side of him. So make me laugh. A fixer of her standing knows. And Rogue probably knows we're talking about her right now. Nash and I had a role to play in her game. Her plan. That's it. Rogue's a frigid old bitch. That's the truth. Gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. what the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. 
Hey, guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Pan Am, time's short. Come on. I know. The Raffin screwed me over. I'll get them back, but I need your help. Come with me. We'll thrash them, the four of us. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now it's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? We'll manage without them. Shut it. Don't be a dick, Mitch. Help me. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well... I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am, are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Hmm. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Want to see what you got in stock? Browse to your heart's content. Want to see what you got in stock? Only the baddest itself. firearms in all the bad lands. Isn't that why you're back? Will you help me with this? What's up?
what's inside. A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Sol? When you come back? You'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. Go. Hop in. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They're on contract during the last war. Panzer boys. Flew those huge transporters. Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. So Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Aldecaldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Okay. We have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Rathens. And we've little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Doubt Rocky Ridge could be any deader. Everything's down. Nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. 
Let's check the substation. Okay. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Ugh. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Think flipping on the lights at the intersection will give us the upper hand? Really? First, we don't know how many are coming. My thinking is it'll be a sizable crew. Second, we have to create an opening to get to my car. If they're bunched together, we won't stand a chance. So we give them a little light show at the intersection? Yes. We'll breathe some life into this dusty old town. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Which gear's got power? Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. Ugh. Now we wait. Remember, a 
soon as we see them, you give us power. Raffins will come from where? Any idea? The northeast, I wager. From the freeway that was never finished. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. They're rolling in. In my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them up. Sound good? Sounds great.
work. What now? But you should still breathe. Get in the car out of here. No need to risk it. Fine. Meet me at the city line. North side. Don't get too used to her. She's mine. See you soon.
I'll take the wheel. What are you waiting for? There. Couldn't wait another minute, could you? She's prime wheels, isn't she? Dreamy indeed. No surprise you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V. It's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo. You got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. So it's about vengeance, the whole time. The hell you know about me? Either you're not being straight with me, or you don't know what you want. Hard to say which is worse. Just course. listen to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. A Nash hunt wasn't part of our deal. Only because I thought he would show up in Rocky Ridge! But he didn't. Might not even be in their hideout. I know he's there, V. That fucking Raffin cheated me. I can't just let it go. I can't. Do you really not understand that? <sighs> All right. So where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Thanks, V. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. I know how you feel. Had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they had it? Would you have done it? No doubt. Without skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. Are you ready? Let's get him.
Hello, Rogue. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the Sixth Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I take my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were up chasing down a vendetta. Fuck! Let's get out of here. What bitter cold bitch that rogue. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. your cargo no no fast ones come on let's meet sunset motel i know you're not kidding i'm certain to be there okay i arranged our meeting let's do the deal and start working on hellman agreed Sixth Street not likely to pull anything. I've driven for them before. Never had them do anything strange. I'm hoping they know what's good for business. Sunset Motel, what's that? A safe spot. It's not far from here. Should be fun. here let me do the talking sensing trouble no at least i don't think so hey boss Panna. how's next didn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Be Raffin's wiped, Sixth Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. <coughs> oh, I, 
again. Yeah, sure, know. just walk right hey. through me. New biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. This place has seemed worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street. What was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers. Well, here's to that thorn of yours. Thanks for everything, partner. Another one over here. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. The Alda Caldas. Think he'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but... Someday? I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? Who would I become if I stayed in Night City? What's gotten in here? Always try it out. See who you become in Night City. Except, the city doesn't always play fair. Don't know if it's worth sacrificing your friends along the way. You mean Mitch? Scorpion? Come on. Sooner or later, Pan Am, this city will suck you in. You won't need to cut whatever ties you got left to the Alba Caldos. Because the city will do that for you. I guess I should think about it. The Raffins. We done with them? Oh, no. The Shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Maybe we rent just one room. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. Not quite what I had in mind. Just what did you have in mind? Just, um... <clears throat> glad to have met you. <laughs> so I thought... I'm glad we met too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Maybe... Calls for a little celebration? Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm beat. No one will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few winks.
night. Mm -hmm. My name is Dakota Smith. If you're looking for jobs out here, oh, you will find them with me. I, I, name's V. Thanks for the intel. Things flow differently out here. Keep your head on, city kid. V, one of my missing vehicles could be near your current position. Got it. Can I help? No, you can't. I'll be done soon. The Rappins left are crooked as a bag of snakes. Did you sleep all right? Can't complain. And you? Reasonably rested? I think you had nightmares. You screamed a few times. Really? Don't worry. I'm accustomed to that sort of thing. When Mitch and Scorpion came back from the war, they tossed and turned night after night. For months, this went on. Whatever it is, it'll pass. Yeah, let's hope so. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here. The clamps are solution. A satwave power station. Um, satwave power station? Yes. We need to break into it. Mm-hmm. So far, so good. But then what? And then we strike. We hit the AV with an EMP. Of course we do. As soon as the AV is in range, we cause an electromagnetic pulse. The onboard electronics should fail outright. Meaning what? Engines will shut down? Everything will shut down. Engines included. Drive, navigation, communication systems.
B? Aren't you, uh, counting chickens? We can't actually know the AV will fly over the station. Of course we can, but we don't have to. You'll see. It's bound to be quite a ride, but not one you'll regret. I've got everything planned out. Remember, need Hellman alive, unharmed. Gotta try not to blow the AV to bits, okay? I know, but I'd say your man had best be buckled in. This idea, if it works, you'll be in for a rough landing. All right, let's ride. Great, hop in. It's cold out here. Who owns this power station? Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? Hey, I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. You like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Or wait. Scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, V. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. What? Are we playing 20 questions? Come on, answer. The deputy finance director of Kaukaz. That's chauffeuring, not smuggling. He rode in the trunk. Flatlined. Really? Dead? A long story. Maybe someday I'll tell you. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. We need to calibrate you with a turret. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. It's not a virus, just a little malware. You get used to it eventually. Screw you. Will it affect the calibration? We shall see. Okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Good. Next target. Single shot. Okay. Just one more. Longer round. Great. We're done, I think. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? Calibration's fine, but your soft could really use an update. Scanner, controllers, all a couple of generations back, at least. There's better tech in the bargain bin at a Kabuki flea market. I can help you with that, you know? Yes, sure. The most important thing is that it works now. So where's this power station? You'll see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a corpo power station. Jump a corpo transport. Kidnap a corpo suit. Is this a plug for the word corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cock. Hmm. Maybe we can just get along. Could 
be something to that, I suppose. What happened to us, it must have had some effect. You're more like me than you think. You'll see. But it goes both ways. Maybe you're becoming more like me. Nah, no way. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Power stations serve the whole city? Honestly? Who the fuck knows? Guess we're about to find out. Huh. Antennas run all the way down the interstate. Mm-hmm. And they're linked, which is to your advantage. We just need to mess with the collection unit. A chain reaction will follow. Each one of the antennas will emit an EMP burst. The AV will be like a fly headed for a spider's web. We just have to fire off the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. Once we reach the station, I'll set up a bypass for the detonator. You just overload the systems. Overload the system? Yes, ma'am. When do I start? Though, hoping that's not too complicated. Is it? It shouldn't be. You just turn everything up as far as it'll go. Crank it up to 11. Got it. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight plan. Got it. Good. Time to roll. Done anything like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Power station, EMP, the systems, networks. Came up with a really solid plan. Thank you. How you approach things, that's the trick. Minus the triple A. Wait, what now? Assessment, assembly, action. Whatever your task, you do three things. Start by assessing what you already have and what you'll face. The problem. Then you plan with those variables in mind. Take what you have, get what you need, assemble things, people. Finally, you take action. Simple. Got one word for you. T-shirts. Triple A. It's all you need to lead the good life. That and the occasional cold beer. Your method. Triple A. That all you? <laughs> Not at all. I learned it from the Alta Caldos. Mitch and Scorpion. They were trained in something like it during the war. Then they made it their own. It's come in handy, I can't deny. And it will again now. What if, uh, something goes ass up? Well, then your ass had better. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. One last time. We drive in, fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. Hold on tight. This could get a little bumpy. Get ready. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, they were 
might have overdone it, Pan Am. Do you see that? All lit up and blinking like a Christmas tree. Girl, you tree. wanted 11. You got 11. Fuck yeah. Let's get out of here before it lights us up, too. V, get the fuck out before something happens to the chip. Thanks for the tip. You know, I was just about to set up a picnic. Maybe lay out. Work on I my mean, base tan. Watch out. The next one might. Johnny? Johnny. Fucking hell. Okay. I'm fine. It's. It's okay, just... It's okay, I'm fine, yeah? Just... Delta the fuck out. Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. What about the detonator? Is it working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strength. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. The cliff there. We'll set up. It should give us a good view of the antennas. And then we wait. Okay. Here. Always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry. I'll have eyes on it. You just wait for my signal, then set off that pulse. They won't know what hit them. And by the way... What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. How does that make you feel? Blasting shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I like to hear. Just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. Wind just intensifies it. Think I forgot quiet exists. Mm-hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. Thought that was just the air freshener in your Thornton. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AV. Keep your eyes open. It's there. Coming from Pacifica. All right, get ready. One more second. One more. Now! Boom. There she is. Shit! What's, What's going on? God damn it all. Bullseye! Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away. They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it. Give me a moment. NM, what are you doing? That's how you do it! It's losing altitude. They got the bastard. Let's go! You got it! No way it stays in the air after a blast like that. We either land or crash. You catch that? Over. Yeah. EV unmarked. Losing up. There. Scorpion! What the hell are they Finishing doing? Finishing up at the generators. Follow them. On my way in a bit. Battery Mitch, should sort Scorpion? itself out. Pan Am! Don't go near that AV! I repeat, do not approach the AV! <laughs> On the way, or I'll start the party without you. It's Kang Tao! Wait for me! Or better, get the hell out! They probably want to help the survivors. But not knowing it's corporate. They can't hear me! The pulse is interfering. Shit! I have three on radar! Drones? Get ready. They're trying to slow us down. We won't let them. We have to reach Mrs. Scorpion.
for the time being, at least. Time being's all we need. that hill. Well, one less thing to worry about. Pan Am, you okay? It's fucking ricochet. Think you can manage? Sure. I'll live. Don't worry. Hey, man, where are you? Hello? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Scorpion? Keep broadcasting over an open channel, just in case they missed you the first time. God, I swear. Something's not right. Did you hear those shots? V, something happened to them. Let's check it out. See the wreck, but no scorpion or Mitch. Looks expired. Fuck. V, connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. Let's roll. You connecting to visual? Mm-hmm. V, if they got the Aldecaldus, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't... I don't... I know, I know. Connected. I'm in control. Sorry. Your clan? All the Calders. Yes. They're dead. All of them. Mitch! He's alive! They have them! Sorry. Your clan? Alta Calvins. Yes. They're dead. All of them. V, if they. Don't worry. We don't they know for the sure. Launcher. They'll tear us to shreds if we get too close. Take it down somehow? Maybe. But we have to get there first. Got five Kangs on patrol. Combat drones. 
Defense systems active. They secured the area. They're waiting for reinforcements. Shit. B, this does not look good. doing why in the hell were they following the AV the fools listen we saw Mitch they probably got scorpion too we'll find them help them out if they're still alive they're alive everything's gonna be okay mind that launcher it will blow us to bits if we approach Okay, here's the plan. You stay in the car. No, I... not so fast. I will go with you. Those are my people. Pan Am, hate to break it to you, but you're hurt. Wait in the car. I'll try and take out the launcher. I. Fine. But I have Mitch's rifle. I will try to cover you from here. What's gotten into you? Good idea. Let's move. They will regret this. Suspect. You are instructed to reveal yourself. You 
You are instructed to reveal yourself. Locating suspect. 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 You are instructed to reveal yourself. Locating suspect.
Let's get him. Instructed to reveal yourself. Locating suspect. You are instructed to reveal yourself. Locating suspect. You are instructed to reveal yourself. Locating suspect.
your weapons, or I'll shoot. I repeat, drop your weapons. Easy now. now. Not too late for everyone to walk out of this alive. We called for backup. Bullshit. Last chance. You don't gotta die today. Let's talk. Why should I believe you? Pan Am, shoot him. Listen, this isn't about you. Let him go and tell me where I... your passenger is. I, I don't know where they took him. Hell no. He's lying. Look, you. You got two seconds to make up your damn mind. All the Caldos will ride up here any minute now. They're headed west for the gas station. But I can't guarantee they're still there. You remember the Shut Cowboys. Shut the fuck up! Fuck! Pan Am! God damn it! Oh shit. Are you alright? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll patch it's you up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, Pan right? Am, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No. No! Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest. I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the... AV. Question is, why? Everything okay? You need anything? Thanks for saving my ass, V. Sorry about your people, but I need to keep moving. Why dive straight for the AV? Didn't notice the markings? We saw it was damaged. We know this land. We knew where it would fall. We had no idea it was Kang Tao. I figured they might need help. In the worst case, there'd be good salvage to be had. Couldn't have been more wrong. I need the man who was riding this AV. Pilot said they headed west. Yep. Took him with them. In our cars. Pilot was telling the truth. There's an old gas station out there. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but... Couldn't connect. What's the plan now, V? I'll go after him. Stay with Mitch. I'll be fine. I am going with you. I promised I would help. Besides, those bastards killed Scorpion. I won't let that go. Don't argue with her, V. No point. Go. I'll call my people. We'll take care of things here. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds solid. If they made it to the station, they're probably waiting on backup. Better hurry. But Pan Am... What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going, before they send a rescue party. V! It's time we move. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your helmet. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help <laughs> Oh, own. so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's delta to that station. Hope you know a shortcut. Mm-hmm. Get ready. The bikes are fine. Hop on. Scorpion said I would hate me. You need that well? Probably better than I know myself. 
himself. He said when I'd had enough of the city, we would get ourselves an RV. Then we'd stock up into the road. Greater Lake. That was his big dream. Where it is beautiful there. And that Ryan Deemer's car is rusting at the bottom. What? Who? That corporal stole some sort of prototype. I think it was military. You don't remember? Anyway, chased the guy through three states, only to fish his body up out of the lake. Killed himself? Doubt it. I think they hit him with a virus. Anyway, lost control. Probably suffocated before he could drown. That is fucked up. You stop thinking about all that sad shit for a minute, right? That's that. I see cars. Nomad. Mm-hmm. I recognize them. The clans. Okay, covering you. Come on, limp dicks!
Cars, Nomad. Mm-hmm. I recognize them. The clans. Surrender immediately! Come out with your hands in the air! Surrender immediately! I'm Come in. out with your hands Help. in the air! He has to be here. going for it. That's all of them.
I see cars. Nomad. Mm-hmm. I recognize them. The clans. chance of escaping. Surrender! You have no chance of escaping! <laughs> Drop any weapon! Unwanted attention. You're only making it worse for yourself. Come out! Oh. 
I'm in. Helmet, he has to be here. Come on out. Only making it worse for yourself. Come out. Come on out. You're not in trouble. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. The hell are you doing here? This is my station. Name's Marty. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. You're only making it worse for yourself. Come out. Brought a man with them. A man I need. Civilian. He must have spotted him. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping them there. Thanks. I were you, I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. I know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Okay. Covering you. Know what they wanted? Anything? Had some sort of accident. Wanted to call someone in town. <sighs> Tell me they didn't. Like to hear that, wouldn't you? Not your lucky day, boy. One grabbed my collar, another grabbed my phone out of my pants. Made a call, waiting for more of their own to show. Shit. Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I... I just dust myself off and get back to work. Come out alone and you won't get hurt. You even get any customers out here? Shit, anyone even drive this way? Anyone who don't like refueling with cameras watching them. Not many, sure, but they're all big tippers. You get me? In exchange for your terrible memory. <laughs> don't look too concerned. Ain't my first road. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I... I just dust myself off and get back to work. Ahead of us. See ya. Come out alone and you won't get hurt.
damn it! That's an order! Who are you working for? You're in Obu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back? What a shitty rat. He's about to either scream or run. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or our Saka. Don't take this personally. I seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got helmet. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive? What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Hell yeah! Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder helmets. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. So Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. It's all I tried to raise Scorpion. <laughs> Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. 
right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that AV got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you were always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Glad to see you, Mitch, but why'd you even come? Saul, he came with our people. We took care of the bodies, I told him what happened, and he told us to up and follow you. He was worried something would happen to you, to Pan Am. Saul? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but you're family, and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage it. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think about everything. Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move. I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. What is this place? Motel, middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arasaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. You misunderstand me. There is no offer. What do you want? Your text trying to kill me. Pretty sure that's not how it's advertised. If you wish to file a complaint, I'll need more details. Got Johnny Silverhand's construct stuck in my head, and I don't want it there. Silverhand? Construct? That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out And of you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, 
you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. Aggressive. The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Huh. Imagine my luck to be so fucking unique, so fucking exceptional. That mean you'll help me? Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Looks like... Can't believe this suit's the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. What? What is it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against this. And no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me, what's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You're both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomb. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you though? Could be fun. Johnny... Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. You know what? That's enough. You just playing for time. Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? Cause I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. This is costing me time. I'll try, just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese. 
at my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half-brain gonk. You just admitted you're right. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to gonk's fucking useless without him. He... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What will you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is <laughs> See that? Fuck me. Just look at that. Unacceptable. You really are paranoid. You don't see it? Way corpse are stripping our world and lives naked, piece by piece? Can't turn a blind eye to that. Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eaten at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching, and finally realized what your problem is. Always been a corpo cog, a replaceable part. Once Sokka booted you out, stripped you of perks, best you could hope for was to be a scab exterminator. Let's get out of here. You seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past. Just like you've seen flashes of mine. Honestly, so, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. I ain't find life under my skin. Well, most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. And the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, used to be five minutes would pass before I had a fresh cig in my hand. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. So, listen. Will... Will I notice a change, or... Is it one of those things where... I wonder why I ever feared it? Worst thing you can do to a human. Rip their identity out of them. That's all I know. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Let's get out of here.
Your goal is to bury Arasaka. Demolish him. Mine's to stay above ground. Seem pretty clearly defined, both. Actually align pretty nicely, too. You need Mikoshi to save your life? That done, I can burn it to the ground. There it is. The Crusade. Get to Mikoshi, smash the system. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and empty pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Fucking hell. You still don't see it, but you will one day. Hi there, V. You make up your mind yet? About what? The Alicaldos. You going back? Part of me just wants to drive down the open highway and never look back. Part of me wants to stay. But being in the same room with Saul... I don't know anything anymore, V. Hasn't occurred to you that Saul might be the perfect excuse? Not to have to face coming back to the family? What is this, a therapy session? Should I find a couch to go lie down on, Doctor? Even if you were right, what of it? Believe me, I know what the problem is. It's not how to solve it. I 
yet. You just need a good kick in the ass. Stuff it, B. I just need time. That's all. No complications with Kang Tao. So far, so good. They sent another patrol around the station. But they're dead set that it was Raffin that downed their AV and attacked Hellman's guards. Station's proprietor's sticking to that version. So we're covered for now. Take care. Talk soon, V. Hi there, V. Take care. Talk soon, V.